Hello and welcome to the final video in my Great Guitar Build-Off Build. This video is about 15 minutes long. Uh, it contains all of the build uh, uh, sped up uh, and edited and we'll have a, a demo of the guitar at the end. Uh, if you like the guitar uh, you can vote for it in the public vote for the Great Guitar Build-Off. Uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description once uh, voting starts on July 1st. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you did. I don't have very many uh, YouTube subscribers. Uh, most of the other uh, competitors have a lot more than me. So um, yeah, I'd love you to give it a vote. So enjoy. So rather than put some annoying music uh, over the, the video, I'm just going to put my annoying voice over the sped up um, video of me making this guitar I can't really comment on it um, as it's going by very very quickly um, by the time I get to say something uh, it's gone uh, but here I am just making up the uh, the guitar body from a blank uh, I used a scarf joint for the neck it was the first set neck guitar that I've ever done uh, so that was uh, a first for me and I actually found it quite easy um, or easier than I thought that uh, it would be um, so I think it's something I'm going to do in the future instead of doing bolt-on next I think I'm going to go with set next uh, I certainly liked working with uh, mahogany a lot more for the neck rather than maple it's very nice to, to, to work with it also gives me a chance to sort of chat about the the competition in general rather than the the build if you want to hear the uh, you know a full description of the build and and, uh, and me commenting on it there's there's like f uh, six or five videos beforehand and um, that goes through a lot this in a, in a lot more detail and a lot slower um, but I, I really enjoyed it it was great and uh, I uh, a lot of support and a lot of information from the other competitors um, who were very very generous with their with their time and um, with their information, um, people like Ash uh, Finlayson and uh, Mumbling Guitar, uh, Mumbling Productions, uh, Fourth Avenue Guitars, Bonehead Guitars, people like that, really made this a a, a pleasure to do, and uh, I've I've become quite good friends with them, and uh, I think we're all gonna try and stay in touch after this uh, after this build. Who knows, maybe do other builds of our own. Um, maybe set each other uh, uh, kind of challenges and stuff like that. Who knows? Uh, anyway, they're all very nice people, despite being um, complete losers. They are, uh, yeah, they're, they're a nice crowd. Uh, I, I, I mean, obviously, I never want to meet them in person. Uh, I only really want to, I'll, I'll chat to them over over text and things like that, but uh, I, I, I really wouldn't want to be seen in public with them or um, have them in my house. I definitely wouldn't have them in my house, uh, any of them. Uh, but as I said, lovely people, very, very, very nice people. It was my first time working with Ebony as well for the fretboard I'm going to be doing that a lot more uh, like working with Ebony for the fretboard uh, I need to get myself a fret press as well it's also the first time I'm doing um, an, an angled neck um, and uh, I really enjoyed doing that planing down the wood it made me feel like a proper woodworker it's very very good uh, whether I would work with Zebrano again I don't know um, it, it was fine um it had a tendency to sort of tear out uh so i might go with something a little bit different in, in the future it um it kind of looks a little bit like tiger print as well so uh i was afraid that the guitar would look a little bit sort of like a, a you know woman of a certain age um but it uh i think it turned out okay me fitting the neck I was very very happy with that that it actually fit <laughs> properly it was really delighted uh, 
uh, it was the first time using a, a uh, geonomatic bridge as well. Um, that's a lovely uh, ferrule block from Granger Guitars. Um, so I got front ferrules and I got a ferrule block from Granger Guitars. Just check them out, they've got some really nice stuff. Um, and I made the back plates the same from the Zebrano from the front. Um, I think that worked out okay. Um, I could have used maybe, you know, a different wood, maybe used um, walnut or something like that. Um, but uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to make it too much. I didn't want to spoil the design by having too many different types of wood on it. So a first time carving a top as well. It was great fun using the gouges and things like that. I'll be doing a lot more of that. I think just because it's it's great fun and it's relaxing and it uh, it really makes you feel like you're doing something working with your with your hands. Uh, it took a long time to do, I have to say, to get the carve right and everything. It was my first time doing it. I was and I, and I didn't mess it up thankfully. Um, I think it's pretty hard to completely mess it up. Uh, I used a small little plane there, it was a little finger plane, loved doing that. Take the edges off. And uh, there you can see the shape of it, I'm very happy with that. Um, I used f uh, this fibre board for the headstock veneer, which next time I'm probably going to use ebony. Um, I wasn't mad on the fiber, but I think it looks great at at the end now. But working with it wasn't much fun. And it was good fun doing a neck as well. That carving a neck from mahogany is so much more fun than carving it from from uh, from maple. Uh, and I also it was the first guitar that I've done that has a, like a proper. V volute on it as well rather than a fender type neck volute this has got a like a, a you know a gibson type one and uh, i was very happy with the way that came out it's funny looking back on it now um all the you know the design decisions that i made and the the, the way of doing things that i would change now and so I'm really looking forward to coming back. I will make another one of these um, using maybe a different top for the, uh, a different wood for the top. Um, but I'm looking forward to going back and tweaking what I had done in this build. Making sort of subtle improvements, those little things that I, I look at now going, would have done that slightly differently. Um, but I'll get the chance to do that again. That's, that's the good thing about guitar making is that you can you learn from your from each guitar that you build, and every subsequent one is better. At least that's the theory. Unless you're somebody like Dur Durista or something like that, um, where your guitars get progressively worse and worse. Princess Leia making a, a, an appearance again. And there's Ben, the ever watchful Ben with his googly eyes. I'm just getting near the end now, so it's just it's down to final sanding for the for the body. It's really very satisfying looking at that, looking at how how that came out, I was I was very pleased. And the fact that the the the, cav the cavity covers fit so well. Uh, I didn't really film me doing the headstock logo, but um, actually what it is is my initials uh, in uh, using toothpicks as an inlay, and I think it looks quite minimal and quite smart. 
and it's putting on the finish that's very satisfying as well it's probably the most enjoyable part of making a guitar is seeing seeing the finish go on and what it's going to look like using osmo oil which is wonderful stuff i'm just putting in the uh, cavity paint the electrical paint or conductive paint i should say not electrical paint conductive paint And then this was the moment of no return where I was gluing in the neck. This was quite a stressful but satisfying thing. Actually, I should have maybe put some music underneath this, shouldn't I? Maybe some of that, you know, heavy. Everybody seems to have heavy metal music on their videos. And I, I'm not a big heavy metal fan, to be honest. It all seems to, all the music that people, the heavy metal music that people seem to play seems like a, a Saxon cover band. And just putting on the final touch, just putting on the hardware. And then doing the frets. This is, uh, I'm getting better at doing fret boards uh, or doing frets, fret, fretting a guitar. Um, I wasn't very good at it at the start, but um, this one actually worked pretty well. Uh, and again, the next one will be better again, I hope. We'll need to get a proper fret press. And then soldering, uh, soldering it all up. So it's time to give this thing a demo. See what it sounds like. learned before but I spent months making this fuck it Play something! Play something! Okay. Okay, right, yeah, 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 you can play the guitar, big deal, right, go, no, no, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> so there we go. That's my entry for the Great Guitar Build-Off 2021. Uh, if you'd like to see me maybe build uh, something else, build another guitar, um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, uh, I don't have a huge amount of subscribers, but if the subscription numbers go up because of this, well then I'll be... Uh, probably tempted to, to make another couple of uh, maybe another couple of videos uh, if you like this sort of thing um, I doubt you do but if you do yeah subscribe 
Um, right. Fuck off. <laughs>